Hello everyone, this is General and welcome back to another Let's Play City Skyline. So, we are currently on episode 3 and we are going to focus a little bit more on transportation. So we're going to press play again since we paused it since the last video. So we're going to go to transport tab and here you'll see that you can build a bus depot. So let's actually expand our road out before we do that. Where do we actually want to place the depot is probably a good start. Closer to, let's see, the forest, and then maybe further out over here. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it out here. Uh, yeah, for now. Let's see, so going into transport, and I am going to build... Well, it looks like we only have buses available, so let's... Build the bus. It's gonna be thirty. What? It costs thirty thousand. Wow. Expensive. Okay, so we can actually expand the grid. So that's what we'll do here. I'm actually gonna expand it all the way over here in the back, and then come over here. So I. From what I understand is, honestly, you just need to expand the grid, and then if it's like further away, you just have to build power lines to get it further. At least that's what it seems like. All right, so currently we are at 149 megawatts, and then we will now actually we need to increase our sewage capacity. As you can see right here, we're a little bit behind. So let me get started with that. I'm actually just going to increase the budget here. And that should cover water and sewage. And I believe, yep, so you see right here, it's just barely, just barely, uh, at capacity. So we actually will need to build another water drain pipe so we can direct all of our poo out of the city. Aw, oh, yeah. So more poo over here. I'm just gonna have it connect to this pipe right here. And now it will, you know, take in the capacity. And I guess we can just lower this down a little bit to, let's say 120. Lower our bill, which is, I think, I don't know how often we get this. Every day, daily, probably monthly income. Yeah, I suspect it's monthly income, so... 9700 is not bad. We are just about 3000 above our expenses. All right, so let's focus on transportation. All right, so we need we actually need water over here. So let me expand the grr water infrastructure over here. All right, we're actually pretty close. But to avoid spending too much money, I'm actually just going to build the pipe over here. Okay. So since this is... I should probably build... Some additional residents. So let's do that. So you can actually build two lane roads with grass but it does cost a little bit more to maintain, so I'm going to actually avoid that for now. Let's see, over here you can see that what appears to be poop all the way in the back. Alright, I'm going to do this. Apparently they didn't like the road, and now I don't know if I can actually expand this properly. There we go, now we can build a straight road. And we're just going to use these lines as kind of a guiding line. Okay, we're out of money. So this will be commercial, and then this will be residential. And we'll... should probably... Make another district over here. So let's do that right now. 
and that will be Garland Heights. So we haven't utilized the 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 districts too much, but we will hopefully be able to do that or utilize it better than we are currently doing. I'm actually gonna fast forward this so we can get some additional income. And over here, we can actually see... Let's see. Whoa, what happened? There we go. Not what I'm looking for. Over here. So, we can actually see the... Number of... People living in Applegate Square, which is currently... Ah, Twitter! Get out of here! Which is currently... About... Well, oh, there we go. 4,000 population. This one is about... Oh, wow! It's really awesome! You can actually see the population density and everything within this tab. Awesome. Alright, so what are we missing in this place? Uh, this Twitter thing. How do you disable it? Just keeps popping up right where I don't need it. Alright, so we can actually build bus stops. So let's focus on transportation before we get carried away. So I can actually build it, I think anywhere really. I'm gonna create a new line right here. Oh! And I can add stops like this? What? Hold on, that's awesome. I'm gonna start my line over here. I guess we'll have a stop right here. A stop right here. We're trying to cover the whole city, I mean, whole district. Oh wow, this is awesome! So one of the things I would like to see is really... Okay, we can build all of these bus stops, but... It would be nice to see what building I'm trying to connect it to. Like, if there's a hospital, maybe I want to connect it to that. That would be really nice. Alright, so I think... Let's hold on, let's finish building this... Okay, and then... Another bus stop right here... Oh, this is like to Garland Heights now, and I'm just kind of randomly doing it at this point. So how do I end a bus stop, you ask? I have no idea. There we go, we complete the line, just like in Cities in Motion. There we go, so we go all the way back around to come back over here, we don't stop anywhere in between. So that's one bus line that we've just created. So, let's see if we can see some additional statistics. Uh, we've got a lot of poop everywhere, but oh, there we go, as you can see here, the buses are bustling, they are moving! Across the city. Nice, so we, we only currently have one bus line, but that's okay. So, they're relatively expensive, 720 per week. So I guess not, it's not monthly, it's actually weekly. I wish they kind of put that like right here. Somewhere, so that we can actually see what's going on. But, that's fine, we, we can see how many buses are, you know, moving around. Alright, so another thing we want to focus on now is upgrading our roads. So actually, let's see, how do we select roads? Uh, let's go into the roads, and then, ah, here we go, we can actually toggle snapping, straight road, we can upgrade roads, there's an option for that, so let's upgrade that road. Okay! So it's gonna cost us a little bit to upgrade, but I feel like it makes sense to build cheaper roads at the beginning and then upgrade where you think is necessary to expand the overall capacity of your industry over here. So people are gonna be happier if you can build faster roads as now the speed limits increase from 30 to 40. Oops! Uh, what? I destroyed the road by upgrading it. I mean, I destroyed the electrical grid by upgrading it. Oh, that's great. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get the main roads for now. So hopefully decrease the traffic a little bit. As not everyone will be getting an upgrade at the moment. But they will soon. Alright, so let me reconnect my electrical grid. Which got broken by my road upgrade. Okay, nah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Have some abandoned buildings, let's get rid of them. We don't like abandoned buildings. And do we have any fire? What is this? Oh, oh it's too loud over here. These people are getting deaf. Alright, and looks like poop is still an issue. Incineration minus okay, so we are currently utilizing forty per yeah, forty seven percent of our landfill. So what does that mean? Well, probably means we can increase our budget. Or just get another landfill. So more landfill it is. I seem to always ah uh, jeez. Always breaking the grid. Okay, well let's just destroy this line. And do this. There we go. So, looks like these guys are complaining about... About something. I couldn't tell. Probably want some parks around here, so let's give them a... Park with trees. I wonder. Well... Never mind. Let me destroy this road. And we're gonna build a giant park. With trees. Oh, okay. There we go. Nobody is happy. Oh wait, don't, they're, they're happy. Although I probably placed it in the worst possible spot. But. Now let's just build a small park. Plaza of trees. Let's build one right here. Seems like people are happier. Now that they can breathe. Alright. Let's actually build a botanical garden. So that people can relax. Oh yeah, look at that. The people are happy once again. Oh, and we can even have a dog park. We'll place it right next to the highway. Oh, never mind. Ta-da! Happy people. Alright, so now let's build a high school, as I'm sure that will be much needed. In this relatively large population. Ta-da! Happy people! So, high school availability, we currently have a thousand students that are eligible. So, that was much needed. Elementary, we still currently have 287 eligible, so... As your population ages, you need to continuously build better schools so that people can continue their education as your city grows. It would be nice if I could build high-density residential zones, but we're almost there. We're about 1,015 or 1,500 away. So, we'll get there soon enough. And why is this? Oh, fires. Okay, so I'm actually going to build some slightly better... Slightly better, what is it called? Roads. Oh, jeez. I just wanted a two-lane road with grass. Oh, I, I upgraded it by accident. Whoops! Alright. Those guys aren't happy, but that's okay. 
grass, more grass, more grass for everyone. Maybe some trees for these guys. There we go. Okay, trees did not look very good. Let's see over here. Very good. And then probably add another bus route. And this one will be slightly more efficient, I hope. Let's see, over here. Okay, and stop right there. And we'll stop right here. All the way over here. Then I think this was the end of the line, and so I'll put another stop right here. There we go. That will close another line. Alright, so we're gonna add some more grass. And we'll do that. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. Oh, darn it, I messed up again. No, we gotta get these nice and straight. Can't seem to do it though. This is also not straight. Uh, no! That's. It's okay. We'll have to do. So let's check out an electrical grid. We're still okay. Uh, water, we're still good. Okay, so let's actually finish this side of the uh, the city. Let's do that. And that's not sh what? Alright, over here. So now that we don't need, actually need the spacing, I'll just do this. Alright. Electricity, let's see, let's check our police department. It looks like we are still relatively... Oh wait, this is fire. This is police. Low crime rate, which is excellent. Currently 235 citizens are taking the bus. And we're still waiting to get to 7,000 population. So, while we wait, we're going to demolish things. If I can find it. There we go, that's one. So this is kind of annoying. The fact that we need to, you know, destroy this. Yeah, so a lot of cleanup required, unfortunately. Lots of abandoned industry. Rubble. So if they could get rid of this portion, uh, that'd be nice. You know, just like auto cleanup or something. I feel like it kind of takes away from the game. Wow, look at all the abandoned industry. What's going on? Okay. That's all I'm literally doing right now. It's just... Destroying abandoned buildings, burnt down buildings. And they still need additional workers. 
park with trees. You know, I'll build another one. Actually, never mind. Build one over here. I freaking ab abandoned buildings. What is going on, dude? And I don't want to destroy the electrical grid, so not really helping me out here, bud. Okay, I think I can build it here. There we go. So, we have a botanical garden. I've built a dog park. I'm gonna build a large playground for the children. It's all for the children. There you go, children. You can now hang out at the park. So let's check our education status. Still lots of eligible school kids. So I'm gonna build another elementary school right here. So that there's one in each district. That will also increase our capacity to educate more citizens. And now I think we just kind of wait for for more... what is that called? For more people <laughs> to live in our city. You notice that most of the bus routes are kind of in the, the residential and commercial districts. None of them actually go to, well, you know, industrial part of the city. Now I could build that and probably make it probably make a lot of money to just have people come over here so they don't have to drive over but for now we're just going to let that be and just watch our city and the donut cars drive away got the hot dog van you can see motorcycles oh, scooters so one of the things that's really different between this game and I think, I think Sim City is that there's actually parked cars in front of like people's residence. Like, I don't r recall seeing parked cars in SimCity for some reason. Like, actually on the side, oh, right next to the sidewalk. So there was like no on-street parking as far as I'm concerned. Or at least not to this detail. And then you can see the buses are kind of crowding. We can probably modify the line. Car trip safe, 38%. Oh, hey, we got to 7,000, which gives us the metro. Metro is the trains. And now we get to build high density residential zones and a lot of other cool things. However, we are out of time here, so I will continue this in the next episode. So I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.